Do you ever think, what could have happened if Russia was not outspent by the U.S. in the arms race, the space race? Heck, they could have won the Cold War. In honor of that, let's learn the Russian accent. Here to join us, to help us out with it? My good friend from Russia, Oleg Alec. Right. Let's get into it. <laughs> start this episode as we do with all the episodes with resonance what is resonance it's the point where the energy is vibrating the most in your mouth in the standard american dialect it's right in the middle if you take your two fingers and press them against your cheeks it's right there in the middle however the russian dialect different what do you got oleg he's russian the point of focus it was biak in the cavity. It's stronger. Right on. But how exactly do you move the vibration backwards? Open your mouth. Drop the jaw. And the tongue goes biak. Excellent. Hey, you ever heard of a diphthong? I didn't think so. It's a new kind of vowel. A double vowel. And one that we often hear in the Russian accent is the ia sound. It produces a natural movement of the tongue going backwards away from the velum. Here's when it happens in the Russian accent. Oleg, I'll let you take it from here. Sit, sit, set in the Russian all sound like set, set, bien, temper. Sometimes when that ia sound is followed by L, N, S, or T, it gets this exaggerated glide. It's almost as if you're putting a Y in front of Ia. Ia, it exaggerate. It's hard for me to do it. That's why I got Oleg here. Alec, right. You wanna do it? Yet yeah, depends on the thickness of the Russian accent. Live, yiv, lesson. Yesen. Nyes. Nyes. Sints. Sints. Cool. The A sound, as in great in Russian, becomes Aya. For instance, the neighbors were breaking away for days becomes the neighbors were breaking away for days. Nailed it. A, as in romantic or cat, has different variations, so you can have fun with this one. For instance, romantic and cat can become romantic cat. See what he did? You got the ah sound that time. But at times, romantic and cat can also turn into romantic cat. There's that diphthong. Other times, romantic and cat can go to Romantic cat. And there you have the air eh sound. Try this sentence in different ways, like Oleg's going to do. Alec, right. Don't attack the Alps without a stacked backpack. Don't attack the Alps without a stacked backpack. Different. He's good at that. How about the uh sound, as in cut? It can go in one of two ways. You can get the ah sound or the aw sound. The bum blundered through the muddy puddles. The bum blundered through the muddy puddles. Or more of a character. The bum blundered through the muddy puddles. I don't know. Or the bum blundered through the muddy puddles. Or even the bomb blundered toward the Monte Puddles. He just rattles them off like it's nothing. Awesome. The bomb blundered toward the Monte Puddles. The double O as in food or foot both get the diphthong ua, and the tongue's getting pulled backwards. Shoot and soup become shoot, swoop. Book and cushion become book, cushion. That's a tough one. You'll have to play around with it, see what works best for you. 
it's going to be different for everyone. That's what's fun about accents. You make up characters as you go along. Let's do the O sound. Like for show, in the standard American English, it's pretty normal. But in the Russian accent, it's more staccato. It's shorter. Like show becomes show. Can you show me where sociology is taught? Can you show me where sociology is taught? I can't. The ah sound, well, the medial ah sound, as in hot or pot. When I say medial, I mean it comes in the middle of the word. It goes to an ah sound. Like if I say impossible, it becomes impossible. Or honest, almost. Or stop, stop. I like the way that one sounds. If possible, make six copies of the comrade's papers. Goes to, if possible, make six copies of the comrade's papers. Moving on, pitch and stress characteristics. In the Russian accent, it tends to be monotone. What? It is actually, most of the time. What if character gets excited? Good point. In this case, the pitch and stress can definitely rise and fall. A cool thing about the Russian accent is there's no such thing as an unstressed syllable. For instance, take the word differential. In the American standard accent, you got differential. The emphasis is on the N, differential. You hear that? But in the Russian accent, differential becomes differential. That's fun. Okay. Consonant substitutions. Let's start with that R trill. You get a little of it. Not quite as intense as the Scottish trill. But if you're having trouble with it, by the way, it happens in the, the beginning of a word, the middle of the word, that's the medial portion, or the end of the word. You get the R trill in all those spots. Again, if you're having trouble with it, try, try replacing the R almost with a D, like air. Ed, air, 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 Russian, river, runner. The er sound, when it comes in the middle, the medial portion of a word, becomes air. For instance, word becomes webbed. A person becomes person. Are all the royal guardsmen qualified marksmen? Are all the royal guardsmen qualified marksmen? Okay, the following changes are fun to play with when you're learning the Russian accent, and they really add to the character and make it feel authentic. For instance, the B goes to P in the medial and final positions of words. For instance, garb, robe, web, club become garp, rope, web, club. See? Doesn't that sound like the Russian accent? Here's another good one. The D becomes a T. Blood, head, plant becomes blood, head, plant. Now we're really getting into it. Try this one on for size. The G becomes a K. Rag, brag, trigger, cigarette become rag, brag, trigger, cigarette. This next one is probably my all-time favorite in the Russian accent. I-N-G becomes I-N-K. Ing becomes ink. Sing, ring, laughing, running become rink, sink, laughing, running. The Z sound goes to the S sound. Noise, toys, repose, rose becomes noise, toys, ros, repose. Okay, the V goes to F in the medial or the final positions. Grave, save, give, ever go to gref. Sef, gif, effer. You ready for this one? The j sound goes to the sh sound. Perversion, vision, collision, incision go to perversion, vision, collision, incision. The j sound goes to the ch sound. Courage, budgery, voyage goes to courage, butchery, Footage. Ready for another fun one? 
when V or W come at the beginning of words, you get like a combination of both of them when you push lips forward. For instance, West goes to vest. Where? Vet. Western? Vestin. Very? Very. And vicious. Vicious. That was pretty vicious. Don't you think? All right. Now the TH. It becomes a hard D or a T, depending. If it's a voiced TH, as in D, like this or that, you get this, that. If it's a voiceless TH, on the other hand, it becomes a hard T. Think, thank, theology, thorax becomes thank, think, theology, thorax. That said, the TH, when it comes at the end of a sentence, can sound like your standard American TH. For instance, soothe, blithe, breathe, all become suat, blithe, breathe. The same, suit, blithe, breathe. Same thing. Now the last sound is a tough one, probably the toughest, even tougher than the R trail. It's the H, kind of a throaty sound. The tongue goes back up into the soft palate. You wanna get like that clearing your throat to spit sound. Like history, heaven, hero, become heaven, history, hero. The handsome highwayman fell from his horse and hit his head. The handsome highwayman hit his head on the hill. There you have it, the Russian accent. Now it's your turn. Take it to the stage. Take it in front of the camera. Let it all hang out and have fun doing it. See you next time. Like the video, make comment, subscribe. If you want to watch great feature film, go to creativeleaptv.com and purchase Tour Guide Rising inspiring and hopefully it will inspire you to create your own art and share it with the world. Thanks Oleg.